What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing the FA Cup semi-final preview between Sheffield United and Manchester City. It's right, it's FA Cup semi-final time, which means rotation once more for Manchester City. And you can see why we don't often make it past the semi-final of the FA Cup with Premier League and Champions League football right now in full throttle. Manchester City are going to rotate again for this game. The question is just how much rotation is going to be in place for this game at Wembley. Taking place on Saturday, April 22nd, 2023 with a 4.45pm BST kickoff time. It's Sheffield United of the Championship taking on Manchester City of the Premier League. The game's live on ITV1 if you're wanting to watch in the UK and anyone heading down to Wembley do have a great trip. Wish I was going, but duty does call. So, before I do crack on with this video, make sure, like always, if you are enjoying the content, then do subscribe to my channel. Social media links are in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries. Also, don't forget as well to leave a thumbs up. That would be much appreciated. 100 likes is the aim. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below, including your score and team prediction for this game. You can go and check out my TikTok link as well. That's in the description if you want to go and follow me on there. And finally, this preview, like all my previews this season, is sponsored and brought to you by Betmate. They're running a £300 pot for this game. £5 entry fee. You can enter for free by downloading the free Betmate app using my link in the description. If you use code JSGC10, on sign up you'll receive £10 in free bets and you can use them free bets to join this pot for free. Simple. Uh, remember, normal rules do apply. You've got to be 18 or over to use the app and you've also got to be based in the UK only to use the app as per the gambling laws here in the United Kingdom. Uh, to win this pot, you just select six players from one team. Uh, you're allowed to select six players, that is. So six players from one team. You select your team and the person that scores the most points wins the pot. Pretty much paying up to the top 20 places, £90 for the winner. What's not to like? Remember, scoring points based on things like goals, assists, clean sheets, saves, clearances, tackles, etc, etc. And it's very much like fantasy football. So if that's your kind of thing, you'll enjoy Betmate. You can go and check them out. Links and details, they're in the description. And we'll speak about Betmate later in the video. So, for a change... I'm going to speak about Manchester City first. In good form, unbeaten in our last 15 games. We had won our previous 10 games in all competitions before drawing midweek away in Munich against Bayern one all, which did send us through to the Champions League semi-final. Now, we've knocked out Chelsea and Arsenal at home in the third and fourth round, respectively, in the FA Cup before an away match against Bristol City sent us through in the fifth round. And then in the quarterfinals, back at home, we beat Burnley to get to the semi-final here against Sheffield United. Now in terms of team news, Phil Foden back in full training, back in contention and more than likely uh, should be starting in this game um, and to prove fitness ahead of a big Premier League and Champions League running, Foden I reckon will be getting a lot of minutes for this game ahead of uh, Man City's massive Premier League match against Arsenal at the Etihad on Wednesday night. Not had any update yet on Nathan Ake. I'm not expecting him to feature in this game regardless of what them scans come back to reveal. The question is just how bad was that hamstring knock that he got away at Bayern Munich. I'm expecting Emerick Laporte to be given the nod here and we could well see Sergio Gomez starting uh, in this game as well. Now I'm expecting City to make at least six changes for this game. Could be six or seven. We could see as many is maybe nine or ten changes. I think Pep Guardiola will want to go with a strong enough squad to get this job done. The problem is I think the squad's going to look disjointed and with a big Wembley pitch and chances will be few and far between to be able to create, City are going to have to be clinical if they want to go through here regardless of who we're playing. And Sheffield United, even though they're a championship team, sitting in second place, set to be promoted very soon to the Premier League, they are a Premier League team in my eyes. So this is going to be difficult. They're in good form to Manchester City. We need to turn up and we need to play well. So I'm going to pop up my team prediction now. Ortega Moreno is going to start in this game, not Edison. So he starts in goal. The defence is where the problem is. We could go with a flat back four. If we do that, 
I reckon Kyle Walker will start, and I reckon Sergio Gomez will go in at left back, and I think it'll be a Merrick Laporte left side of centre back, and it'll be one of Stones, Diaz, or Akanji starting alongside a Merrick Laporte. That could be quite a solid uh, back. Um, four for Manchester City and Sergio Gomez could cut further ahead he could even end up playing on left wing in this game I'm not entirely sure what City are going to do um, to me we could go with Rico Lewis potentially starting in this game if we want to go with a back three if we're going with a back three and we want to put full rotation in place and this is what I've gone with Walker right side of centre back Laporte uh, going through the centre could be Sergio Gomez going left side as centre-back. Could be Rico Lewis potentially playing at centre-back. Move Walker to more of a central area and play Laporte. It's more than likely, if we don't want to rotate too much, that one of the Kanji, Diaz or John Stones will start in this game. I'm just having a look at if Man City wants to do a full rotation, this is what it might look like for City. So if that's the case, Rico Lewis could go into uh, that inverted full-back role, sitting alongside Calvin Phillips, who I'm certain will start ahead of Rodri in this game. I've gone with Gundogan and Bernardo Silva, both of which have had a rest at least in one game over the last two weeks. So I start both of them here to give a bit of a first-team feel. So a pretty strong midfield, that of Lewis Phillips, Gundogan and Bernardo Silva. And I've gone with a very strong attack. Mahrez on the right-hand side, Foden on the left-hand side, and Hurley and Alvarez up top. So it's all about Man City connecting that defence to midfield, and if we can get our midfield clicking in this game, then we can get our attack involved, and we can have plenty of successes from this game. And to me, that's a decent midfield and a decent attack. Defence looks a little bit short, and with that Ake injury, certainly hasn't helped things. So to me, I will be trying to make this all about attack not defence, and that's our best way to reach the FA Cup final. After all, this is our only chance between now and the end of the season of Manchester City being able to do a full squad rotation. We can do them in the, in the Premier League if things end up going really well towards the end of the season or if things go really south, we can rotate heavily in the Premier League and turn attention to the Champions League. But if City are competing on all fronts in the Champions League and the Premier League, full squad rotation is what's needed here, in my opinion. That's what City have got to do. And that's why we've gone out so many times in the semi-final of the FA Cup. It's We're normally going up against, and no disrespect to Sheffield United, it's normally at this stage of the season, we're at a point where in the FA Cup semi-final we're playing a team team that's what in the top half of the Premier League and a, a team that can really take it to Manchester City's rotated team Sheffield United might be able to do the same so certainly wouldn't rule them out here and this is a very dangerous game I think uh, for Manchester City Sheffield United like I said sitting second in the championship there's one win away from promotion back to the Premier League they've got four games in which to do it so they're going to go full strength for this game just back out of a transfer embargo things are looking pretty up for them as well in the current form one six of the last seven games in all competitions only loss in them seven games came away against Burnley 2-0 who are currently flying in the championship and sitting first and currently uh, being led by manager Paul Heckingbottom as well going to be a difficult game this for Manchester City now the one shining light we've got heading into this game is James McAtee and Tommy Doyle whilst it would have been fantastic to see them are both not available for this game. Uh, that's a huge blow to Sheffield United. Both low knees cannot play against their parent club as per the FA rules, so it's not up to Manchester City whether they can play or not. It's the rules that are put in place by the FA who are obviously in charge of the FA Cup. So that's a massive shame for the players and a massive shame there uh, for Sheffield United, but it does make Man City's job a little bit easier that two top quality players in the form of McAtee and Tommy Doyle don't start in this game. So I'm expecting them to go with a midfield three of North Wood, Fleck and Burge. Uh, other dangers at top, uh, and Dia and McBurney starting up top. Lots of physical presence there. A good accuracy in front of goal. City need to be careful out wide. We could see Lowe and uh, Baldock starting. And then I'm expecting Sheffield United to go uh, with a back, uh, back three. So that would be made up of uh, Ahmed Hozic and Egan and Robinson. And then in goal, I'm expecting Adam Davis to start. Now, other players to look out for potentially that could feature Jaden Bogle. Decent player, and Mr Sheffield United himself, Billy Sharp too, uh, another player uh, for City to be careful of. Uh, if he does end up coming onto the pitch. Now, Sheffield United's route to playing Manchester City in the semi-final. They knocked out Millwall away in the third round. They went through against Wrexham in the fourth round via a replay. And uh, Wrexham 
pushed them all away. I'll tell you that before uh, Sheffield United picked up a very impressive home victory against Tottenham Hotspur in the fifth round and then beat Blackburn Rovers uh, at home after going behind in the quarter-final to reach the semi-final stage here against Manchester City. Now Sheffield United uh, backed by over 30,000 fans at Wembley so will Manchester City. They're going to be well up for this game. A trip to Wembley in the sun as well. They've got the nicer west side of the stadium as well. It's a big do. So Manchester City, they really need to raise their game here if we do want to beat Sheffield United. Now, in my honest opinion here, if we can't beat Sheffield United, who haven't got Tommy Doyle and haven't got James McAtee, I do think questions need to be asked of Man City's rotated options. So I'm expecting big game performances from the likes of players that are under pressure. So in particular, the likes of Cole Palmer, if he ends up starting or ends up featuring. Uh, Sergio Gomez and Calvin Phillips have been the three that have been getting questioned. But I'm looking towards Man City's senior experienced players here. The likes of uh, Foden, Laporte, Mares to really grab this game by the scruff of the neck and show their experience and show why they should be starting games and why they need to be featuring against Arsenal on Wednesday night, why they want to be starting against Real Madrid in the two-leg clash in the Champions League. If we reach the FA Cup, why they want to be starting that, and if we reach the Champions League final, why they want to be starting that. Lots of players are going to get given their opportunity here, and this is their chance now to go and give a big headache to Pep Guardiola. Now, I don't know why, but I'm expecting this to be a close game, and I'm pretty nervous for this one, but... We'll end up, we'll see. I'm going for score prediction, 3-1 to Manchester City. I think Alvarez will open the score in. I think Bernardo, if he starts, will bag a goal as well. I can see India grabbing a goal for them. And it being pretty tight and towards the end of the game, City sealing the deal. And I'm going for Riyad Mahrez to grab a goal for Manchester City uh, as well. Now, in terms of my betting tips, I'm going for both teams to score. Julian Alvarez to score any time. Uh, my biggest tip here, if you're going to place any individual bets, in particular on Manchester City players, don't do that until the teams have been announced because Manchester City are going to be in full rotation. And this is probably the most difficult game for me to be able to predict what Man City are going to do, how we're going to approach this game and what team is going to start. We could go full strength. We could see the likes of Erlen Haaland starting in this game. I'm not expecting it, but it could happen. It's Pep Guardiola. Anything is possible. Now, in terms of the other FA Cup match, the other semi-final taking place on Sunday is Brighton and Hove Albion taking on Manchester United. We do have the potential here to see a Manchester derby in the FA Cup. I'm not sure if we've ever had a Manchester derby in the FA Cup uh, previously. Certainly not in my lifetime it hasn't happened, but that would be a thing of beauty. But I wouldn't rule out Brighton getting the job done and what City need to be careful of, regardless of what happens in Brighton uh, against Manchester United. We want to try and win this cup and so we've got to get through Sheffield United to do that. So that's what we need to do. Now, moving on to today's video sponsor, Betmate. I do normally go with a full six players of Manchester City and one player from Sheffield United. Uh, but uh, I've changed it up because I think, I think this is going to be a difficult game. If City do go full rotation, we'll look a bit disjointed. And there is every chance that Sheffield United could well go out there and make something happen. So with that in mind, I'm going to pop up my Betmate team and I'm going for Ortega Moreno in goal. I think he's more likely to keep the clean sheet rather than Davis, who I've put on the bench. I've gone with my defenders as Egan and Laporte. I, I'm not going to be able to change up my Betmate team too much, so I'm going for players that I think are going to start in this game, and I'm certain that Egan and Laporte will start in this game. So they're my two defenders with Walker on the bench. Midfield made up of Fleck and Foden, and I've put Norwood on the bench of Sheffield United. And then up top, I've gone with Alvarez and Mares of Manchester City with McBurney, uh, my striker, on the bench. Remember, it is a £300 pot, £90 for the winner, paying up to the top 20 places. Go and download the free Betmate app now. The link is in the description. And remember, use code JSGC10 on sign up for £10 in free bets. You can use them free bets to join this pot for free. Do remember, if you are going to gamble, do gamble responsibly. And when the fun stops, stop. So it's to the Etihad South. Let's reach the cup final again. We're not going to mention the T word, I don't think. Our big seven days of our season continues. Made it past Bayern Munich. Full ticks there. We're into the Champions League semi-final. We've got a semi-final here now with the FA Cup. And we've got the chance to reach an FA Cup final. And then we've got a massive Premier League game against Arsenal on Wednesday night. So let's get that second tick and get ourselves into a brilliant position in the Premier League and our build-up to the Arsenal game. No better preparation for that Arsenal game than Manchester City winning this match against Sheffield United and our rotated players giving a potential headache to Pep Guardiola. So there we go. That has been the video. Thank you for watching. Much appreciated. Do leave a thumbs up. 100 likes is the aim. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below including your score and team prediction for this game. Who do you think is going to start? 
let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget as well to subscribe if you're new around here. Plenty more Manchester City content to come, so make sure you've subscribed if you haven't already. Social media links, they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries. TikTok link also in the description if you want to go and follow me on there. And finally, I wanted to say a big thank you to Betmate for sponsoring today's video. Go and check them out. Links and details, they're in the description. And I'll see you all again real soon for the next Manchester City video so I've been JSGC thank you everyone for watching I hope everyone is safe and well peace ciao for now <laughs>